This is the third year utilizing the three-day charrette-style format for the Julia Schulman Emerging Talent Design Competition Award. Each of the seven schools of architecture select a three-member team to represent their school in the competition at Gensler's offices in downtown Los Angeles. This year's project is the Reef, located approximately two and a half miles south of downtown Los Angeles. The project we have right now is to develop a multi-use, multi-purpose space in the lot next to the current reef building. We're supposed to have a hotel, residential area, as well as um, gallery space, mini micro market, and plaza space for a farmer's market. In the middle of all those things, you have to put parking, and the parking, it's like, like three times the amount of the space for all the other <laughs> stuff together. There's no relation whatsoever between the building and the pedestrian. And that's where the, the problem uh, lies essentially and that's what we are interested in tackling. Our building kind of promotes to be an extension of that building. We want to reinterpret the meaning of park. Community gardens, park space, it really creates a space for the community to want to go to and engage. We are exploring the idea of adding open public space within the housing and the hotel. Sort of bring people into this mixing bowl of different arts and other sorts of projects. We're trying to give these small businesses and small artists a place for them to showcase their work and make themselves known to the public. Our site is on the opposite side of all these flows of this large parking lot in which we're going to integrate a series of mixed-use components to activate that zone and allow for the reef building mm -hmm. to really have a dynamic relationship to the site. It starts engaging you more to start walking or starts having more perforations, more textures to start introducing you to spaces. We hope that by creating kind of like an iconic tower, we'll claim that space as being part of the grander downtown area. We're essentially breaking down this giant super block into a series of micro blocks that would populate the entire site. What we want to promote is um, a greater sense of ownership, a greater sense of identity, a greater connection between the people and the space that is created on the site. We're kind of focused on really reconnecting back to the existing project, so really having program distributed in a way that it's conducive to the creative environment of the existing building. The community spaces here for each group have been awesome. It's exciting to be surrounded by design on all levels. And we think this surface is like amazing, it's just the way it embraces right as you walk in and the way that it engages each floor. The collaborative nature of this office is really cool because it's such an open space and you can see through it to other people working and so you get this ability to kind of be inspired by your neighbors and see out into the context of downtown LA which is kind of a rare Privilege. Of course, it's exciting to present to professionals in the community and pretty well-known professionals in my opinion. This year, the jury is comprised of Pritzker Prize winner Tom Main of Morphosis Architects. This is Tom's second appearance as a juror. Bob Hale of Reels Clemente Hale Studios, Scott Johnson of Johnson Fain Architects, Lee Wynn of Gensler, and Elliot Barker of Base Architecture. They are a really impressive jury and I'm definitely nervous. It is a little nerve-wracking when you think about who our jurors will be, but when you think about the overall experience, it's exciting. We're enthusiastic about showing it mm -hmm. to them and we're, we plan to have a lot of practice before that point. Everybody is really friendly and it's just very encouraging. We have really high spirits and are just pushing forward. Mm -hmm. so. It's a good place to be. They're skilled and facile. They're a productive they rate or two. With a large amounts of information. This is a very exciting weekend, and we look forward to seeing the students' proposals.